Cześć, jak się masz? For all of you who don't know, that's actually Polish and that's our destination for today's journey. So I don't need to travel too far, we're going to Poland. One of my viewers recently asked me to do something Polish, like, like one of my favorites. So I didn't need to think uh, too long. Uh, I'm making sabowy z ziemniakami mizerią, which is a pork schnitzel cutlet with dilled potatoes and a cucumber salad. But before we get that going, let's do a cocktail first. Well, Poland's not big on cocktails, but it's really famous for its vodka. And one of the most famous vodkas is the żubrówka, made with uh, bison grass inside. So, first thing that you need to do is to kill the devil, which is common in Poland. And it goes really well with some apple juice. So, let's quickly make a cocktail. So first, we're going to make a sugar cinnamon rum, rim. So you need a little bit of apple juice, or you can use water as well, just to make sure the rim is wet. And then you're just going to dip it in some brown sugar and cinnamon, just like so. Afterwards, all you need is just a couple of ice cubes. Actually, the more ice cubes you put in your drink, the longer it's going to take to melt. So, let's fill it up with ice, add a vodka to it, just a measure, about 50 ml. Get that in. And you top it up with some apple juice. Easy peasy. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. All right. So for the main course, I'm gonna need some uh, pork eye fillet, so pork cutlet without the bone. Uh, some eggs, breadcrumbs and flour for the crumbling. Uh, you need to tenderize the meat. So in order to avoid, avoid any splatters, you don't want to make your kitchen dirty, you can use some cling wrap, just fold it over. Uh, you can use the large teeth and don't bash it too hard. That's basically just to flatten the meat, to make it even and uh, of course it will make the meat absorb the uh, crumbing much better. So you take the large eyes Turn it. So that's probably where I would stop bashing my cutlets. As you can see, it's like slightly over half a centimeter thick. My secret to my schnitzels, and I think it really works, is to season all the, those ingredients. So I put some salt and pepper in all of it. I put the pepper in the flour, in the breadcrumbs, and in the eggs, and of course, on the meat. Just make sure those spices stick. And now there's a technique to do it, right? You take your cutlet, shake off the excess flour, put it in, in the egg mix, and afterwards it's just the breadcrumbs. So you shake off the excess egg, and you put it in the breadcrumbs, make sure you press it down in order for the breadcrumbs to stick to the meat. Turn it, and repeat. And the thing is, uh, with your schnitzels, if it's possible, you can crumb it twice. You will get that really nice crust, golden crust on your cutlet. So you dip it up in egg one more time. And back in the breadcrumbs it goes. So make sure you press it down. And that is basically your breadcrumb cutlet. So place it on, on the plate and now it's time to make a cucumber salad. Uh, and there's a huge scaffold uh, all around Poland because uh, some like it sweet, some like it savory. I'm going to make a savory version, but you can try it out uh, also in uh, the sweet variety. So all you need to do is just peel a cucumber. One bit of advice when you're making this cucumber salad, it is addictive. All right, so let's get rid of that. 
Of course you can do it by hand, but it's best to use a mandoline or some kind of slicer in order to uh, get those really nice thin slices. Just make sure they're not too thick. You want them approximately this size, about like two, three millimeters thick. And then you just do the whole thing. You're gonna need a little bit of dill. Just make sure you use all the leaves. So you pick it off the stalk, just chop it really fine. Just like so. You don't need too much, otherwise it will overpower the whole salad. You want like, you know, dill accent in your salad. You want it to be, you don't want it to taste actually like really like dill. Of course, seasoning, salt and pepper. Don't be stingy with it. Otherwise it's gonna be really bland. And the last ingredient is cream. So, a couple of spoons. Just like so, and then you just mix it up. So once the oil is hot but not too hot, you're ready to put your cutlets into the pan. Just make sure the oil is not too hot. You want to brown the crumbs, you don't want to burn them, and you still need some time for the meat inside to cook. So, the pan is ready. Just grab a schnitzel, put it on the pan. So after approximately one, one and a half minute, the side should be brown already, nice and beautiful. So you just turn it and give it another minute and a half. The schnitzel is nearly done. I already drained my potatoes in order to finish them off. Again, chop it really fine. And now you don't want to put too much dill into your potatoes. It's just there to give an aroma. Just toss them around, make sure the potatoes are nicely covered with this dill. That's absolutely good enough. I think my cutlet is done as well. So let's just put it on a plate with some paper towels just to drain the excess oil. Let's prepare a plate. So we have a plate down. Let's get some potatoes on it, just like that. Then you do your schnitzel, just like so. And that bit of space is left for your cucumber salad, although I like to eat it straight from the bowl. So I'm just gonna put it on the plate to get a little bit of that oil from the frying pan and just drizzle it over your potatoes. All right, just to give them a little bit of shine. All right, so. That's pretty much what it is. Perfect schnitzel with dill potatoes and a cucumber salad. An awesome summer dish, uh, great for garden parties. Uh, a staple food in any Polish home, except for the vegetarian ones. Uh, but generally, very tasty, very filling. I like that. Uh, and that's what it is. So I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, just hit the like button. If you want to see more of those recipes, hit subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest productions. I thank you guys very much for watching and, well, na zdrowie and have a good time. See you later, guys.